So this is the 2018 Lexus LX570. And uh, this is the two row version. It has a 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 with 383 horsepower and 403 pound feet of torque. As you can see, the it looks so attractive out on the front with the huge grill. I personally love it on this particular car. It looks absolutely fantastic. And it's got all your features that we will later on show you like the blind spot monitor system, a big infotainment system in the middle 12 inch screen. And of course it has 20 inch wheels. Uh, very nice. Uh, you got Michelin tires on it as well. This has adaptable, uh, adaptive variable suspension and this also has some electronically controlled shock absorbers to make the ride quality really, really good. And anyways, of course, you got your foot plate to climb up so it's easy. LED front and back lights. Uh, the tail lights look very nice. They got the L style going on, which is really, really cool. This has a towing capacity of about 7,000 pounds. And of course, this car is all wheel drive and it's a true body on frame structure. And the steering wheel isn't even EPS like a lot of other cars like the Range Rover and stuff. Uh, this car is completely hydraulic assisted steering wheel and it's a very like classic style uh, off-roader SUV. It's got all the controls inside as well. So for the interior of the LX570, we have, as you can see, a really nice white, dark wood. And then we have a nice beige cream colored interior, all leather all the way around. Super soft padding everywhere you can see. Amazing leather quilted interior right here. And it's such a nice materials they use for the interior. You have this nice wood steering wheel, very nice and hard really stiff nothing they didn't cheap out on anything in the interior so you know for lexus's infotainment we have the 12.3 inch infotainment screen it's the biggest size you can get in lexus and uh, for the center stack right here as you can see it looks really just smooth and laid out really clearly easy to use and you have your of course your gear shifter right here you have your lexus infotainment system right here for you know control like maybe your climate or your cd you can lower it from here or you can come down to the center right here and you can just manually change whatever you want to change. When you're driving along, it automatically controls the uh, slip of the car coming down from like a hill climb or going up and you don't really have to do much. The car automatically steers and keeps itself correctly. And of course, over here, if you press view, it gives you this full display. So when you're off-roading, uh, you got a full display, a display of uh, out back and your whole 360 display as well. And I think you can go ahead and change those things. And you can, there's also an auto mode, uh, which is pretty cool. So it just keeps on changing it, I guess, as you're going in different ways. And then of course it said check surrounding for safeties and blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty cool. I like those types of features in this car. That makes it really, really awesome because this is a true off-roader car and it can do all those things while still making you feel absolutely at home inside the cabin. So let's go ahead and look at the back seat because me and him are both six feet two. So uh, let's go ahead and check out yeah, the back. And this is a two row, so there's no yeah. third row to take up most of the trunk space. And this does have mood lighting as well, which is absolutely awesome. So what you can do is um, when you're off-roading, you got your 360 uh, bird's eye view, and you also got a view of the rear, which is really nice. It's very nice and wide. And then you can also change it to the side in case you're about to hit something, you know, when you're off-roading. And you can use this anyways when you're driving as well, I'm pretty sure, so that's really cool. So for this LX570, we have a two row. And as you can see, a man of my size, I can easily just fit into the back of this. And due to the driver's seat, uh, it's pretty reclined backwards. And you can still see that I have a solid amount of legroom and headroom as well. So because of where I'm sitting right now, I have plenty of headroom and I have a lot of space. Also, we have the executive package here, as you can see where we have uh, climate control functionalities even for the rear. So uh, since we are driving and we wanna see how this car drives normally, we're gonna have to put the suspension tuning down. So you bring it twice down and it shows in the gauge cluster that it's dropping in height and now it should be going down. So what's really nice about this SUV that I'm immediately loving is the fact that besides anything else, the V8 is nice and loud. No matter how quiet the cabin is, I love it when the, the engine is loud and that's awesome about this car. The other really cool thing is that the steering is hydraulically assisted, so it's very nice and heavy and what that does is inspire a lot of confidence and you're moving uh, very like precisely with the steering when you're turning in and out of parking lots. The thing I hate about electric power steering wheels is that you it feels like the car is kind of not fully in your control, you know? This feels exactly like I know exactly what I'm doing. 
and also the cool thing is the brakes are fantastic compared to the GX's brakes we also tested that car look how easy this is to drive considering this is a full-sized SUV <laughs> that's awesome I love that no other SUV that I've driven felt this way uh, not even the GX is hydraulic steering it's different in this car everything is just tighter and more in your control which is absolutely fantastic and just picking the car up is so good and effortless we're in comfort right now just the brake effort is fantastic it's very nice and light and way better than the LS's brakes I was very disappointed I didn't really get to talk about that much but the brakes in that car were really really weird I did not understand that listen to how good the engine sounds this isn't comfort you know it sounds amazing absolutely fantastic wow I'm very very impressed by that and just the overall the look at the bulge of the hood these are very impressive brakes. I'm thoroughly impressed. I did, I was not expecting this. It's got a little bit of body roll, of course. Let's crank it into, what are we going? Sport Plus. All right. Some dude's walking here, and these are like pretty quick roads. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, anyways, you know, it's just very comfortable. Even in sport, the engine is not too loud. Because this isn't like an F-Sport car or anything, you know. Look how good the suspension tuning is. Downshifts is just rocket. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, anyways, until we get to the fast turns or whatever, uh, Omar, how's the ride quality in the back? The ride quality is phenomenal. I'm again six feet one inch, and uh, there's plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom, and the ride quality is just very calm, and it's just it's fun actually. It's just fun being calm and you know relaxed. Wow. I mean, I'm just blown away by the smoothness of this car. This is in my opinion the best luxury vehicle that lexus makes and the reason i say that is because the ls is now too stiff and it's too sporty but watch this Pardon. yeah it's just very very planted and there is a bit body roll but still i mean look at that it's just so smooth because this is an suv you know this is stuff you would be doing at sports cars and listen to the engine that's amazing sounding. I love it. And you can be just coddled in comfort and you know you can take this any day off-roading and there's no problem at all whatsoever. Some guy is going really slow in front of us, but um, it's fine. And then uh, let's just let this guy go until that we're gonna be slow and smooth. And uh, then we're gonna have to test out the tires finally. These are Michelin tires and this car is all-wheel drive. Fantastic grip, perfect off-road vehicle. And if you've got the money for one of these, why not go buy one of these? I mean, people, um, majority of the segment's buyers go for the uh, Range Rover supercharged, you know? And that is a great car. But this car is a serious, serious luxury tank. And look at how awesome the tire grip is. I mean, wow. It's so fun, you know? Listen to that V8 awesome sounding and of course this we haven't even gotten to talk about the safety features of this car it's got the uh, park assist feature you know how Lexus always has of course you have all these crazy uh, angles in the uh, backup camera, like for the you know 360 uh, bird's eye view or whatever, which is really cool. I mean, wow, this is awesome. It's so calm, so relaxing to drive. And now, since we're in a bit of traffic, pop it into comfort, super nice and chill. Very awesome car. Of course, some things you do suffer from, we haven't gotten to talk about that, but the uh, 5.7 liter V8, which is, it is necessary to have fun, but it's totally unnecessary for this category of car. Uh, that makes you suffer in fuel economy a bit. But, um, or else this car is just, I mean, wow. This is so elegant to drive and so peaceful. And it's an excellent handler. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm not noticing any difference really between all the modes. I'm just looking to think that it's gonna change or something. Nothing's really changing, come on. Who really is gonna care about these modes in an SUV? I mean, that's what people be flicking around these days, you know, not even the off-roading controls at all. But still, it's not something you're gonna care about in an LX570. You know? And this car has paddle shifters. Like, what the heck kind of Lexus has paddle shifters always, you know? 
that's pretty funny and now we've had a little bit of rain but who cares you know it's all-wheel drive nothing changes in terms of that and it's just an excellent excellent car to drive such a comfortable car excellent handling considering this is a full-size SUV great car and it sounds amazing that's something that I noticed that I love wow I mean look at that it's just so connected to the ground and I have so much confidence in driving it and then you pause and you look at the wood steering wheel you're holding just coddled in leather so uh, Omar what do you think of this car overall while I think I, that yeah. it's definitely a better choice out of the rest of the competitors you know you have the Range Rover you have the Land Cruiser you have you know the Lincoln Navigator and you know such and such companies but definitely the Lexus LX570 is uh, a winner I would say yeah I agree I mean wow this car I just can't stop saying wow because I wasn't expecting this I thought this was gonna be like the GX just a step further in off-roading capabilities and of course it has air suspension a little bit more comfort but man everything changed the steering changed that car had very very sloppy steering and we're going over some serious bumps in Sport Plus and this car is totally awesome man and you just push it in and it's so freaking quick for a huge SUV you got you got 400 pound feet of torque it's just an absolutely fantastic car I'm very happy to say that this car is awesome and it's such an all-rounder such a versatile versatile car I'm very happy about that brakes are just phenomenal and then you pull it in awesome hydraulic steering wheel you got this huge hood up front and we're gonna show you a couple more features like the trunk capacity and then do our final verdict on the car so for the Lexus LX570 we're gonna be looking at the trunk cargo area since this is only the two row it doesn't have the third row we have a lot of cargo area for the trunk as you can see it has a cargo net and for the second row it can come back significantly further back or forward and you can collapse them so you have even extended trunk space for maybe more suitcases or luggage or just maybe if you have a dog or something you can throw the dogs in here you know and they can be perfectly comfortable As you just saw, this is a half split, so you can tailgate this if you wanted. You can just open up the top half and you can easily store something if you like. Or if you're loading in more heavier luggage, then you can have the entire trunk open area. So overall with the Lexus LX570, 5.7 liter V8 has been quite the journey. It is amazing full-size family SUV and you can store and drive however ruggedly and roughly you want. Yeah, I think that it was fantastic to drive. I really like the ride quality and the accelerator response was incredible. And the steering was very nice and quick. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode of Autogrid. Make sure to like and subscribe for weekly videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. Special thanks to Arco and Magret Lexus of Westmont for providing this vehicle for you. And as you can see here for your infotainment uh, system for Lexus, you have a really huge 11.3 inch display, I believe. And uh, you have the navigation and you have the split climate control. One more time. 12.3 12 12 inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just continue from there. Very nice car. Uh, we can also lower it and show it later on as well. But the rest of you will be right, which we said before. Now, tell me. What you Omar, you can show. You can, uh, light it, light it on. फिर अभी ड्राइविंग पोर्शन में कुछ भी नहीं आएगा बाहर अभी फौरन निकलना पड़ेगा कोई एक बटन होगा ना अंदर केबिन का वो बाहर इतनी कीड़ों की आवाज भी आ रही है अब हम ड्राइविंग पे जा रहे हैं and uh, what I just noticed actually here's the funny thing this car is $86,000 but it doesn't have navigation it has uh, like no it does have navigation but not the way like not satellite where it's you know with the big map and everything it's very weird the way it's set up like there's no map setting so um, oops Achha, anyways let's <laughs> get <laughs> 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 <laughs